What's going on guys, it's you here, bringing you another review on Baruto. Um, I do have some news regarding that and towards the end of the video. It is a bit unfortunate though, but this episode wasn't actually that bad at all. I think that for this one, we finally get to see Himawari after a long time and it is talking, well, focusing, excuse me, on something that we hadn't seen Himawari ever focus on and that is what her life path is going to be like. You know, naturally you think, you know, Boruto being her brother, who is a shinobi, you know, Hinata coming from the Hyuga clan, who is also a shinobi, who at this point kind of feels like a retired one, and Naruto, who is the Hokage and the greatest shinobi of all time, you know, you'd think that she'd follow those footsteps, but she seems to not be sure as to what she wants to do. We see Hanabi actually visiting, um, but she was able to see, you know, what Eno and Ten Ten and all different kinds of people doing different jobs and things and so one of the things that kind of was i guess she was willing to do was the one day trial that the academy was holding which was cool i think it's a great idea it gives you know young kids the opportunity to decide whether they not whether or not they want to be shinobi and so we actually see her very excited to do this we meet two new characters, Yuina and Echo, Echo or something like that. I, I don't run. His name was weird. And so we see these two characters, and they are actually, you know, surprised to hear that the daughter of the Hokage is going to be doing this. They feel honored. Uh, Echo is kind of like, you know, he's excited because he seizes up an opportunity to kind of compete, seeing him Himawari like a rival, and Yuina, who is just kind of like, eh, you know, it's like it's just a great honor. And it's great to see also Shino in this episode being the one that he's actually in charge of overseeing things. We also get to see Anko and uh, Iruka, who have been missing for so long, and they didn't have much of a participation. Iruka was actually more excited to see what the students were going to be able to, well, I guess it the the, the uh, free day trial kids, let's put it like that, what, what they would actually accomplish, because he just, I think he misses that. I think he wants to be a teacher some days more than him being a principal and maybe i think that should be something he should consider maybe have anko be the principal if he wants to really just go back to teaching i think that would be a great idea but we say see throughout the whole uh, episode that after himawari kind of reveals the fact that she isn't very sure as to what she wants to do she's kind of hesitant we see Echo's, like, Echo's, like, uh, personality change towards him more. He's actually more, like, rude and a bit more agitated and just not really in the mood to be around her. Like, he feels like he lost to someone because during the... I guess the training sessions, Himawari was in some as some ways, you know, ahead of them. You know, he trains with Bar she trains with Baruto, which, you know, gives her an advantage. But at the same time, she's very powerful and she's actually very agile. We see that she actually beats him in the race. So when he hears the words that she doesn't want to, well, she's not sure as to what she wants to be. Just, just kind of gives, you know, he gives her the cold shoulder, which is a bit sad, you know, it really is, because Himawari is in that indecisive state, you know, she's at the point where she has to think about these things, and so, Ejo actually decides to, like, leave her behind, which I thought was a really big dick move on his end, but, I mean, in the end, it does end up biting him in the butt, we see that they actually go in this, uh, uh, I guess you could say this fake mission, which is to retrieve a cat, which we have seen so many times throughout the different different generations of Bar and uh, Naruto, them retrieving a cat. They do achieve doing this. Unfortunately, they end up getting trapped down in a well where they haven't mastered the ability of, you know, having their chakra to their feet. But we also see Himawari actually getting a lesson from Iruka, which motivated her to continue on. She was very upset. I mean, at times we saw her wanting to actually give up. But, you know, we see that she is Naruto's daughter. She's very gutsy, and so she decides to finish this out. She does luckily find them. They actually, she actually jumps in, and Echo is still speaking his mind. He's not happy about it, but Himawari turns it around and be like, look, you were about to give up. We are not going to give up. We're going to do this together. And 
it was nice to see them actually working together the way that they do it like i i was kind of you know i was wondering maybe they're going to pull it out of their butts and like maybe have them master the you know chakra control on their feet but instead they do a more realistic approach and actually have them uh, working together to kind of get like a triangle and then get out and you know luckily they do get out we have anko shino and eruka watching by and they actually succeed so in the end of it we see himawari talking to boruto and hinata about what she plans on doing and it was a bit of a shock she's like i want to learn everything i want to learn just about everything because that's what i like and she wants boruto to help her out so of course he can't say no and so maybe i definitely think that think that she'll still be a shinobi it's just not our typical shinobi because she has a lot of skill a lot of leadership and you know there's no way we're gonna waste that Byakugan on just you know planting flowers there's just no way but overall a good episode but unfortunately though there is also bad news and this concerns the real world uh, we did get the preview for the next episode which will be Mitsuki's rainy day and it's sad because it's Mitsuki, you know, and he's just a troubled child. But the news is that because of the coronavirus, we have a delay. We're gonna be—it's gonna be postponed. The season or the show in general will be postponed until further notice. We don't have a date, but I mean, it is what it is. We'll just have to stick it out, guys. But overall, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and as always, stay safe. And I'll catch you later. Gavilón, Gavigán, lo calle, luna y el pato y la pelco que yo tengo ahí. Tú y yo voy aquí con la luna y vamos para mi cuarto y perdemos ahí. Lo calle, luna y el pato y la pelco que yo tengo.